Right, so this is day 10. Um, I can't see if you can see this, it's so bright in here, but uh, I painted uh, most of the floors white. The base coat, just real quick. Um, redid uh, the, gave another coat to the stairs up there. And I was searching around on Craigslist for hardwood floors, like, you know, periodically through like the last two months. And finally I found a lumber liquidator in my area, like a, not that far of a drive, 20 minutes. And the lady said she had 200 square feet of Siberian larch, which is exactly what I need for $35. 200 square feet for 35 bucks, no lie. Here it is. It's pre-finished. She said that some of the pre-finished pieces have, uh, you know, a little damage to the top. Obviously, they're all still wrapped. There, there's like a couple of them loose, like 10 of them, not even, maybe like six of them loose that have a little damaged piece to the finish and the rest of them are still brand new in the packages. $35, she was like, come and take them, you can have them. I'm gonna refinish them anyways, so once they get laid, I'm gonna um, sand them down and they're gonna get stained a darker color or just then left natural. I'm not having decided yet, but yeah, 35 bucks for three quarter inch tongue and groove track trackable so you can do a floating floor with the tracks you get what you do is you do the subfloor and then you lay these metal tracks across the floor that have these things in them and they these things just snap into them across the entire floor so you can do a floating floor so this is actually like the perfect type of hardwood floor and it's three qu three quarter inch thick so i can actually reduce this the uh, the thickness of my plywood because I can't go both ways. I can't have thick plywood and thick hardwood floors. Not that that would be, wouldn't be better. I just don't have the headroom for it. So this is three quarter inch thick. It's Siberian larch. It's a really dense, really dense hardwood, harder than a lot of cedars and things like that. Much more dense. And, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's tongue and groove type. So it's even stronger once it's all put together. Yeah, it's not like the snap-on type. And it's trackable, so it has all those things going for it, which are great for this bus. So I'm going to reduce the size of the, the the thickness of the plywood to like quarter-inch thick plywood and then hardwood floors the whole floor. That will give me an inch of solid wood flooring and then insulation underneath it, another inch of insulation. So yeah, an inch of the furring strips, one inch insulation, Quarter inch plywood, three quarter inch hardwood, two inches of floor, and that will be perfect. So that was like, a, I, I was so happy to find that. I thought it was a scam. It was on Craigslist. I called her like twice before I even drove all the way over there and was like, are you serious? She was like, no, come get it. We're cleaning out our warehouse. I was like, okay. So that was, that was a great day yesterday. So yeah, I painted this and I still got to paint this. I did like this part right there. I still, the part I'm standing on where the hardwood floors is at, I'm just going to wait for this to dry and I can transfer all that stuff over there, which it's halfway dry now because it's so hot. It's like, I think it's like 70, 72 degrees in here. So it's drying quick. But once it's dry, I'm going to transfer all my supplies and stuff over into a corner somewhere and then finish this off. That will be today. And then um, right now what I'm doing is about to pack this up, lock up, and I'm um, going to Home Depot to get the, the insulation and the furring strips. Um, not the plywood today, just the insulation and the furring strips. Because I, uh, I don't know, I'm still working things out in my head. But uh, yeah, I know exactly what insulation and the furring strips that I'm going to get, so I'm going to do that right now while this continues to dry. And uh, I'll give another update tomorrow because I'll be out here tomorrow again working on this. Tomorrow will be the day I lay the insulation, furring strips, and probably plywood and, and the
the day after that might be uh, laying the hardwood floors. So yeah. Oh, and I put a lock on the outside today. That's what I just finished doing. I just finished uh, <sighs> drilling through the bus and uh, putting the device to just, just a regular padlock, a stainless steel padlock. Um, and I caulked all the holes and caulked the plates that went on there so it wouldn't rust out uh, or get inside the holes underneath where I drilled. And um, that's about it. Today was a quick day. I just wanted to come and lay this white so it can start drying. I've, I've been putting this off because it just takes so long to dry, but you know what? It has to be done. So I just came here today, laid it, put the lock on, and I'm leaving. That's it.